Hi, you're listening to Done, the weekly podcast about how structure at work simplifies our work days. I'm David Stjernholm, and as always, I'm your host. Today's episode is about how to come more prepared to meetings. Few things are as unpleasant as sitting in a meeting, highly aware of how unprepared you are and wishing you had spent at least a little time getting ready. During the last meeting, you thought to yourself that you would come better prepared to this one. But the week just swooshed by and suddenly you find yourself unprepared in the meeting you swore you would attend fully prepared. Perhaps you even just remembered that you promised someone you would do or fix something during the last meeting but have forgotten all about it since. Now you're sitting there silently praying that no one asks, "Um, what happened with that thing you said you would do? Wouldn't it be wonderful if someone would have reminded you a day or so in advance of what you needed to prepare before the meeting and again the day after at the latest, of that you need to process the notes from the meeting and create to-do tasks from anything you said you would do before the next gathering? If so, you would not have to suffer through yet another meeting with a knot in your stomach from feeling unprepared. We all have so much to do in our everyday lives already, so who has the energy to remember adding yet another task about preparing for a meeting and one about deciphering the notes afterward for every meeting you have? Who? Well, your computer. You can make sure all this happens automatically. Do this. If you want to spend less time before and after meetings preparing and rounding them off, but still be reminded automatically every time of what you have to do, then do the following. If you have Office 365, create a flow in Power Automate, which, when an activity is added to the calendar, creates both a preparation to do task in Outlook Tasks or Microsoft To Do with a due date set the day before the meeting, and a summarizing to do task, which is due the day after the meeting given that the activity has the word meeting or the likes in its title. If you don't have Office 365 and keep your calendar in G Suite, Mac OS or Outlook without Office 365, create a Zap in the automating service Zapier that allows the calendar connecting service Chronify to keep track of when you add a new meeting and then creates both the related to-do tasks in your to-do list in Todoist, Asana, Trello or whatever tool you prefer using. Except, unfortunately, for Outlook tasks. If you don't have Office 365 and your IT department doesn't allow you to connect your Outlook calendar to Chronify, you unfortunately need to set the reminder for the meeting itself, about 24 hours before it takes place, as a signal to yourself that you need to prepare before the meeting. It's not the perfect solution, but it can be one that works somewhat, at least. Because if you allow the fantastic automating services Power Automate or Zapier to write the to-do tasks associated with meetings for you, you not get more tasks to remember but still get the right task done. The chances of both arriving prepared to the meeting and not forgetting to do the things you promised you would during the previous one increase. You get a better overview and flow in your work without really exerting any additional effort. Have you used Zapier or Power Automate for something else that has made your work and life easier? If so, write to me and tell me. I'm very fond of automating many of the small tasks and procedures I would otherwise have to do and remember to do myself, so I'm most keen to get your feedback. You'll reach me by emailing david at stjernam.com. Thank you for listening to this week's edition of Done and see you again next week. 